So today we are going to be learning uh, about uh, similar triangles and slope. And so this is the next lesson, lesson 8.3. Uh, in module eight, and it's under uh, linear relationships and slope. So if you look at the learning target, I can identify similar triangles that fall on the same line in a coordinate plane and show that the slopes of the lines are equal. And then um, if I'm looking at the vocabulary, there are several words that I'm going to be learning, uh, which are corresponding parts similar figures and slope triangles, okay? So I have drawn two triangles on the board, okay? I have drawn two triangles on the board. So I uh, look at triangle ABC and then look at XYZ. And then I'm going to like quickly discuss what similar triangles are so that you can look at these two and understand what that means, okay? So um, when figures have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, they are called similar figures, okay? So same shape, but not necessarily the same size, then they are called, this is smaller size, this is a bigger size, but they have the same shape, okay? So these are called similar figures. And similar figures have corresponding parts, okay? So they have corresponding parts. And so uh, let's look, and I'm just going to show you with three different colors, okay? So if two triangles are similar, then the corresponding angles are congruent, okay? So the angles are congruent. That means angles are exactly the same, all right? So let's look at this. I'm saying corresponding angles are congruent. So uh, angle A is congruent to angle X. So let's look at this one. This angle here, angle A, okay, is congruent to angle X. So these two are exactly the same angle measure, this and this, okay? Then let's look at angle B. So angle B and angle Y are going to be congruent. So I can show this like this. This angle and this angle are congruent. Okay, so angle B and Y are congruent. Then let's look at the last one. Angle C just going to do three different lines so you can see here through uh, the angle c is congruent to angle z all right so once again let's quickly uh, talk about that i said if two triangles are similar then their corresponding angles are congruent and then the ratio ratio of their corresponding sides are proportional Okay, so the ratio of the corresponding sides are proportional. So if I look at um, AB, this is going to be uh, proportional to XY. Okay, so AB over XY, this ratio is going to equal BC over YZ with and that ratio is going to equal AC over XZ. So that's basically what this means. Okay. Now, uh, the two triangles shown are similar. How do the side lengths of the small triangle compare to the side lengths of the larger triangle? So as we can see, uh, the sides of the smaller triangle are half the length of the larger triangle. Five is half of 10, four is half of eight, three is half of six, right? So uh, the sides of the smaller triangle are half the length of the corresponding sides of the larger triangle. 
which means that the ratios of the corresponding sides are the same. Because what is 5 over 10? It is 1 half. What is 4 over 8? That's also 1 half. What is 3 over 6? That's also 1 half. So you can see the ratios of the corresponding sides are going to be uh, the same. So it is 1 half in this case. Okay? So, um, which I can write it down really quick. Um, a, B, this is, so we have 4 over 8 should equal B, C, which is 3 and Y, Z is 6. And then AC is 5 over 10. So when I am simplifying all of this, uh, what do I get? I get a 1 half is equal to 1 half is equal to 1 half. So that's basically uh, what this means, okay? So um, now let's go on into, I'm going to show you a picture. Here we go. All right. And uh, we're going to learn about similar triangles and slope. So triangle uh, ABC, okay, and uh, triangle BDE. Both of them are falling on the same line on the coordinate plane. Okay, so these right triangles are called slope triangles. Okay, so these right angles, these are called slope triangles. This, uh, we can see that the vertical and the horizontal sides of the slope triangles are the same as the rise and the run of the line. And you can use the properties of similar triangles to show the ratios of the rise to the run for each triangle are equal. So if I'm looking at which ones are the corresponding sides, um, I have AC over there and BE. So AC and BE are corresponding sides, right? So the ratio of this should be equal. Okay, AC over BE, okay, this ratio is going to be the same thing as BC over DE, BC over DE, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the multiplication property of equality, and so these are corresponding sides, so if I have AC over BE, is equal to BC over DE. Okay, I am going to use the multiplication property of equality. All right, and uh, we are going to do times BE because that's what I'm trying to remove, over BC, okay? Whatever I do on one side of the equality, I do the same thing to the other side. So the BE over BC, right? And so what am I left with this and this gone? And, you know, this and this gone, because I am, uh, you know, simplifying. And so I'm left with, AC over BC is equal to my BE over DE, okay? So now let's look at what is AC. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is my, this AC is six. Let's look at what is BC. One, two, three. So this part over three is equal to, let's look at what is BE. One, two, three, four. This part over one, two, which is this part. Okay. So ultimately, uh, what is my ratio over here? I am I'm getting two over 
one, right? For both of them, I am getting uh, this ratio over here is two over one. This ratio over here is also two over one. Okay, so since the ratios AC over BC and BE over DE are equal, the slope is the same anywhere on the line. Okay, the slope is the same anywhere on the line. Now, how can you use the slope triangles to find the slope of the line? So again, the ratio of the rise to the run of each slope triangle is the same as the slope of the line. And we know that slope is rise over run. And that's basically what we just did over here. Okay, slope. And we've done this in the past lesson. Rise over run. Okay. And so using triangle um, ABC, okay, um, the slope of the line is 2 over 1 as we saw because we got 6 over 3 and then using triangle BDE okay uh, again the slope of the line uh, is 4 over 2 which is nothing but 2 over 1 so this, that slope is going to be the same all right so uh, let me show you Okay, so if I'm showing you something like this and uh, we're talking about the ratio of the rise to the run of the two slope triangles uh, formed by a line is equal to the slope of the line. Okay, so let's look at the large triangle over here. And what is the rise? Now this is going down, so it's going to be negative, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is going down six. So this is negative six. And then it's going to the right one, two, three. Okay. So negative six over three. Rise over run on the big, on the, the this one is going to be negative six over three. Now let's look at the smaller triangle. And this is also going down one, two. Okay, so this is one and two. So this is going to be negative two because it's going down and then one to the right. So here we go. Okay, and then what is the slope of the line? Um, in this case, if I'm looking at the entire, um, let me use a different color so you can see. Okay, so let's look at the entire line here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, if I take this entire thing and then if I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, what am I getting for the slope? I'm getting slope is negative eight over four. So look, for all of them, what is negative 6 over 3? I get negative 2. Negative 2 over 1, I get negative 2. Negative 8 over 4, I get negative 2. So that's what basically uh, it is, the ratio of the rise to the run of two slope triangles formed by a line is equal to the slope of the line. Okay? So um, let's look at... An example and here we go all right so let's look at this and uh, the, uh, you know we are going to talk about um, why the slope is the same between any two points on a non vertical line okay so um, we are going to use the slope triangles ABC and CDE to find the slope of the line. Okay, so we have AB, we have AB, okay, which is here, um, over BC over BC. 
So let's look what that is. This is one, two, three, four, which is the rise. Okay, so we have four. And then let's look at what is the run. One, two, three. So four, third. Okay, let's look at the other triangle. So we have C, D. Okay, C, D over D, E. Right? So we have C, D over D, E. And what am I getting here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over one, two, three, four, five, six. And what is eight over six? It's going to be four third in the simplest form, right? So four third, four third, and there is going, this is, uh, you know, how to find the slope. Um, then uh, let's compare slopes of similar triangles. Um, and let's go ahead. I also want to show you uh, one more thing. If I had just taken this slope, uh, just the slope of the line, right? And if I did the rise and the run. So what is slope? M is equal to rise over run. So if I take the rise, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay? So this whole thing, if I'm just taking the slope, Okay, so once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is my rise, okay, over run, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is my run, okay, so what do I get? Uh, if I am going to be dividing this and simplifying it, I still get what? Four third. So that's basically uh, what another thing that I just wanted to see once again, that the slope is exactly the same. So let's look at this problem over here. Uh, the graph of line T is shown. Use the similar slope triangles to compare the slope of segment a, C, and the slope of the segment C, E. Okay, so we're comparing this with this. All right, so uh, we are going to find the slope of segment A, C first. And for this, we are going to use triangle um, A, B, C to find the ratio of the rise to the run. So if I have A, B, so this is my rise, this is my run. For this one, this is my rise, this is my run, right? So for A, B, C, I'm going to do A, B over B, C, because that is my rise over run. And what do I get? I get one, two, three, over one, two. Okay, so here is my slope. Now, uh, let's look at, uh, so the slope of segment AC is three over two, and let's, let's find the slope of segment CE. Okay, so once again, we are going to do rise over run. We have CD over DE. Right? So what is CD? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be six over one, two, three, four over four. And when I simplify, I get the same slope, which is three over two. Okay? So the slope of segment CE is three over two. Uh, since AB is equal, uh, AB over BC is equal to CD over DE, the slopes of each similar triangle 
are the same. Okay? Uh, let's do another problem and show you this one. So once again, uh, the graph of line D is shown. Okay? The graph of line D is shown. Uh, use the similar slope triangles to compare the slope of segment F j and the slope of segment j k all right now remember this line is going downwards so this is going to be a negative slope just looking at that okay so uh the slope of segment f j let's look at this we have again rise over run okay rise run rise run okay so let's look at this one we have one two three four so this is going down so negative four over how much one two and what is that going to give me that's going to give me negative two okay let's look at this one again this is going down here so we have one two which is negative two <clears throat> and this is one so this is going to be negative two. All right. So same slope. And so the slope of segment FJ is negative two. And the slope of segment JK is negative two. And the slope of segment FJ equals the slope of segment JK. All right. Let's do one more. And... Okay, so let's look at this uh, problem. And the pitch of a roof refers to the slope of the roof line. Okay, so pitch is going to refer to the slope of the roof line. And choose two points on the roof and find the pitch of the roof shown. Then verify that the pitch is the same by choosing a different set of points. So if I'm looking at this, I'm going to use points T and U uh, to draw the slope triangle TUB. And I am going to use S and R to draw SRA, okay? So let's look at determine the slope in this case. And we know that slope, is rise over run okay so what is the rise this much is one what is the run one two so this is two so yeah, we've got one half is my slope right so the pitch of the roof is one half then let's look at verify um, that the pitch is the same using two other points, uh, such as SR. We are going to draw the slope triangle SRA. And then again, we are going to do rise over run. So in this case, we have M is equal to what is my rise here? One, two. What is my run? One, two, three, four. And what is that in the simplest form? It's one half. All right, since the slope is one half, the pitch is exactly the same. All right, so um, you can use any uh, two points like this uh, to create a rise and run, and you will see that the slope is exactly the same. All right, now, why is the slope of segment TU equal to the slope of segment um, SR? So why are this and this, uh, you know, is talking about why are these uh, equal? And, and again, that's because the slope triangle between points T, U is similar. This is similar to the slope triangle over here. And since the slope triangles are similar, the ratios of the rise uh, to the run are exactly the same. 
all right? So once again, uh, that's what this entire lesson is about, okay? Um, and, and it is completely about similar triangles and slopes. And when figures have the same shape, but they do not have the same size, they are called similar figures. And if they are similar, then their corresponding angles are going to be congruent, um, as we have just seen over here. And the ratios of their corresponding sides are going to be proportional. And that concludes our lesson 8.3 on similar triangles and slope. You ha I'll have a great day.